Hey folks, Technivorous here, and welcome to the Technivorous channel. Today we are taking a look at Super Slicer. This is version 2.3.56, and it is basically just a flavored version of Slicer, similar to Prusa Slicer, although I am preferential to this version, and I'll explain why in just a little bit. This is a super powerful tool, it is super simple, and it is also free. Don't let the fact that I say it's simple fool you. There are a ton of settings that we won't be getting into in this video. We're just going to set up a simple print, and we're going to jump right into doing that right now. Hey folks, Technivorous here. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button, but stick around because today we're going to be talking about some pretty interesting stuff I don't think you're going to want to miss. And here we are in the initial setup phase for Super Slicer. Basically, I'm going to click Next, and I'm going to scroll through and find my printer. Now, it's not here in this list of any Cubic printers. You're going to want to go over here on the left and click the Creality printers if you're using the same one as me. Find the Ender 3 V2. I have it here. We're going to go ahead and hit Next, and as you can see, it scrolls into the next selection of printers. So hitting the Next button actually won't do what we want. We want to go back make sure we have the printer selected and then we're going to skip all of these steps here on the left and basically we're going to go right to the filament we're going to make sure the filament settings are correct and it's going to pull in all of this as per what it is needed for the ender 3 v2 so once you've selected your printer you really only need to click finish and that'll bring you to this screen right here this is the main deck or platter of super slicer and from here i can basically just drag and drop a model now i'm showing you the simplest way to do this you can hit file import or bring in a model in several other ways this is just the quickest way so um, navigation in super slicer is a little bit different I'm clicking the left mouse button and not the right to rotate around but basically we're gonna go over here into the printer settings and make a couple of adjustments I like three shells on mine and we're gonna make a couple of other quick clicks to adjust some things I want to adjust the skirt and the brim and make some minor changes here all of this basically can be left it is set up for the ender 3 v2 if that's the printer that you picked or whatever other printer you picked out of that menu i just have a couple of settings that i'm kind of particular to that i specifically wanted to alter now it's also important to note that there are a ton of other settings that you can change by going into the advanced or expert tabs we're going to leave it in basic for now and just go ahead and jump right over to the slice preview and you'll see when i do that i didn't have to hit a slice button it automatically sliced it for me and here you can see it in its g code form so this is the file that it's going to export i'm going to go ahead and click on the button here and export this file we will get it printing now i set this up for an ender 3 v2 but i'm actually going to be printing it on an artillery genius so this is something i do quite often as the ender 3 profile is a very very generic profile and fits the base needs for pretty much every printer that i use with minor alterations so we'll change the name here save that and go ahead and get it printing i will be back in just a second to show you how well it comes out and here we are this is our finished test print so this one here is the super slicer print this here is a print that we did on our standard kira profile this profile does pretty well for me as you can see the print is pretty well flawless it is a profile i use for pretty much most of my printers and it's set off of an enter three so this guy here is the print that we just printed you can see that there was a little bit of a skirt and a brim for some reason so I do need to adjust that setting a little bit but this guy came out extremely well as well all the details are just about perfect the layer height is the same and all in all comparing the two models you can't really tell the difference between the two of them I mean other than that little brim on the bottom of the super slicer model they're both really high quality really good prints so we will keep testing the super slicer i think we'll do a couple of videos on independent settings for this i want to test the vase mode and then we'll get into the advanced settings but so far so good in this initial test of super slicer i will say um i do like it a little bit better than prusa slicer just because it seems to have simplified the workflow a little bit which was my main gripe with prusa slicer compared to kira kira to me is super easy drag and drop couple of settings hit slice and you're good to go the thing I liked about this is I didn't even hit a slice button as you'll notice I just clicked on the preview button and it sliced it right then and there and then gave me the preview so very very happy with this and can't wait to do some more experimentation before we go I want to check out one more thing so let's take a look at the G code viewer so this is it right here it is unzipped when you unzip the download file and I'm gonna open it up it's basically right here so I can uh, click file 
open G code and we'll go look at that G code that pawn that we we did this is a really nice feature um, just for checking out G code files if you download the G code already made and you want to see what it actually is and make sure everything's up to par um, I don't recommend downloading G code files that are already sliced just because it's probably not sliced for your printer um, but sometimes it is something that you will want to do so we're gonna go to my STLs and the pawn super slice G code and it should take just a second and open it up now they do have this in slicer and in prusa slicer this is a really nice addition for looking at files and i can just zoom in i'm using the same manipulation tools that i did for uh prusa or for super slicer so um comes out pretty nice you can see the infill you can see the lines you can see the skirt and the brim you can see all of that and we can work our way backwards through each step so it breaks down all of the g-code one of the reasons this is really cool is because super slicer is not just super slicer it is also known as super mill and you can use it for a 3d mill as well which is really really cool for uh doing things with the same program if you're doing multiple tools in your shop such as uh mills and printer mix so um really really cool and Leave me a like down below and hit subscribe if you enjoyed this video. If you want to see more videos on Prusa Slicer, definitely tell me what you, or excuse me, Super Slicer. Tell me what you'd like to see me test down below in the comments. And that's going to be it for this video, guys. We will see you in the next one. Stick around, guys. I got another YouTube recommended video for you right here. And if you haven't already, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Make sure that you smash that like button. We'll see you in the next one. Technivorous out.